spatch caught grouse. You're probably wondering what the heck that is. And I like a recipe that uses the entire bird. We're gonna show you how to cook that up right now. This is spatch caught grouse. All right, so first step on this one is to grab your grouse and start plucking. So here's our whole bird. We've got this grouse completely plucked. We've got as clean as possible. And this is where the spatch caulking happens. We are going to take a pair of scissors. You can, use this, you can use a knife as well and just cut through the spine. But here's our breast, the big part that we're all familiar with eating. And this is the backbone. So we've got this neck all the way to the tail. And we're going to just take our shears and cut on either sides of that spine and remove that completely. So there's still a little bit of rinsing that I need to do on this bird, but now that we've got the whole bird, the spine is just completely cut out. All we're going to do is take this thing, put it flat, cut side down on our cutting board, open up that breastbone a little bit. So now I'm just gonna take my palm and press down on this bird, crunch it down, make it all nice and flat. And now we've got one nice, even flat, consistent piece of meat. Now we need to season this thing. And I happen to pick some wild juniper berries just over here. So I'm gonna just mash them up with a mortar and pestle um, and add some salt and pepper. But if you don't have juniper berries, you can just do salt and pepper. The thing I love the most about juniper berries and um, if you like gin at all, that is the primary aroma that you get with gin. It's just this really strong, organic, earthy, pine sort of flavor. And this time of year, they're these beautiful purple berries and they're soft, they're sweet, and adding that into salt and pepper and into a dish is just going to add this amazing earthy flavor to it that is next level. So I'm gonna put the salt and pepper and juniper berry mix on here. I'm just putting a touch of oil on top of the bird so that our salt has something to stick to. We're gonna do this on both sides and go in with the seasoning. All right, so this cast iron pan is sitting here over the heat. I want to get this thing pretty hot. I'm going to hold my hand over it until it's pretty darn hot. And then we'll add some oil to the pan and the bird goes straight in skin side down. And we're going to hot sear this thing and get it as hot and, it, and get that skin as crispy as possible. Hey, if you want to know a little secret, if you want this oil to taste amazing and season it really nicely, add a little bit of thyme and garlic into the oil before you throw the bird in. The best part about food is that it gets me so excited. These smells coming off of this time are unbelievable. Now that that is, that oil is now just infused with some amazing thyme and garlic flavor. And this pan's hot, so this bird's going in. Now as I watch that bird and it just kind of does its own thing for a little bit and sears, I'm gonna get this apple cut into small little cubes. I'm gonna do the same thing with some onion. Once that bird comes off, the apple and onion and a few extra special things go into the pan and we'll get to that in one second. I always like to cook maybe about five minutes per side. Once you got a good sear on the skin side, flip it over and cook the other side. If you're not sure how much to cook it, just cut into the breast meat and make sure that's cooked all the way through to the bone. And that thing is done. We're just gonna let it rest for a couple minutes. All right, so our next step is just taking our onion and apple, getting it into the same pan and start cooking them down until they get soft. So it's pretty amazing when you're out hunting what you just sort of stumble upon. And in the spirit of grouse being opportunistic feeders, we found some high bush cranberries and we're also gonna toss these things into the sauce. Our apples and onions are looking nice and soft with our cranberries. They've kind of juiced out. I'm adding some pepper now to the mix, a little bit of salt. We need a little bit more fluid in here because we're making a sauce that's going to go on the grouse. What I'm doing is adding some whiskey and some balsamic vinegar. So the balsamic vinegar is going to go in first. We want that heat really high so it sort of starts to reduce it a little bit. And then we're going to hit it with our whiskey. And I'm just gonna light it. Now I've just pulled the sauce off the heat and I'm going to add a little nugget of cold butter. And as I swirl it around, you'll see that that'll start to really thicken up that sauce and give it this nice sort of smooth texture to it. All right, so now that this sauce is done, I'm just going to take a little bit of it. And we're going to dress it on top of our grouse. Slicing a little bit of green onion to throw on top. So there it is, spatchcock grouse. You don't have to get all fancy and even put the topping on top. Just salt, pepper, grouse, seared. That's gonna become one of your new favorite ways to eat a grouse. For more information on this recipe, check out our blog at huntfishmanitoba.com. I'm gonna go eat this thing right now. Thank you.